Victor here from Hive IQ. I just wanted to give you a quick rundown on, on the thinking behind our hive, uh, hive entrance design. Um, and there's three real key points here. The first point is that we wanted an entrance that would be, um, we could manage in three stages. So we want to be able to control the size of the entrance depending on the size of the time in the season, um, the strength of the colony and so on. And conditions, so in, in tough conditions, when the colony has a large entrance like this, if we go to a full, full open, fully open, the bees have to defend that entire entrance. And uh, if, if they've got another strong colonies in the area coming in to try to rob, them, rob their, their honey stores, they've got to defend that large area and it becomes very difficult. So when we can close it up in back to a one third increment, now you can imagine the bees um, now doesn't require anywhere near as many guard bees to defend this entrance. The second important thing is we wanted an entrance that was flat so when it's open the surface here is completely flat so that and that, the reason for that is hygiene so you want the bees to be able to remove dead bees, dead brood, um, things like chalk brood and easily be able to just drag it out and, and discard it and get it out of the hive because uh, when we have an entrance that has a, a lip or something like that where they've got to lift the debris over, uh, we have the situation where we can have a build-up of debris behind the entrance, which is a risk of disease and pathogens getting into the hive. The final part of the design was having a really solid locking mechanism so that regardless of the position of the entrance, we could lock it. So um, whether it's open, fully open, or fully closed, you know we've got a really solid lock to lock it in place so when we're traveling because a lot of these a lot of these a lot of beekeepers are migratory so they're traveling on the road so the last thing we want is this entrance getting wind under it and and blowing clothes because you know then we risk having uh, the hive smother uh, and the other part of it is we want to be able to lock it closed so we want to be able to lock it in the closed position so that it doesn't fall down uh, in the event of high wind or uh, etc uh, so that that's the entrance and uh, it's we're very pleased with how it's working out the bees uh, have got really good access to and from the hive uh, uninhibited what we do also have which is uh, which we don't have installed on these hives is an optional uh, mouse guard uh, it sits in behind the entrance and um, and, and it uh, that actually lowers the height so you can see the height here is um, quite high so uh, rodents like mice could potentially uh, fit through that hole if the colony wasn't strong enough to defend itself. Uh, so by putting the mouse guard in, that actually addresses that problem.